I'll work, but not this. What I cooking, Wart? My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no skull yet, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating halfwit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Oh, <laughs> wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. 
Hello. This crew they ain't gonna watch where you're going. Taking a break. suffered from coal gas suffocation. I think this is everything. Well, Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hand. They're making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just... treat me equal and no. Nobody's taken nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool, Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! Damn Get moving now! here why because you've caused enough trouble already i'm fine yeah we showed those bastards huh remind me not to get on your bad side and they was clearly playing 
plenty to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, watch it! So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of follows. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. You okay? Save my hide not once. Hey, can we talk about this later? Well, excuse me. What are you doing? You're a waste of space. You you need some new lines, Morgan. How you doing? Relax. Well, hey, I'm Arthur. glad to hear it. Ha! Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. An apprentice undertaker, this one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. What on earth are you wearing now?
that girl. Yep. Quite right. Gwen Hughes, start okay. picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh,. Well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing you ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box and you won't be the last don't leave me now rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began well like i said well the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. You best be leaving. The nerve of you. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
Churchyard's closed. Get out. Oh, my, my. I guess I'll come back later then. Run along. Nothing doing in this town. That's for sure. There's them that's born to it. There's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Things was done on merit. You and me would be running things. Sure would. Uh-huh. Yep. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. <clears throat> Got some nerve on you. Should have walked away. Ah, shit. Hope this hole's dug. Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than, than clear what I what I owe you. Keep me here any longer. Get what you want and go. Okay. Better not be stolen, all right? Dressed up like that. <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You gotta help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn bird. Hey, no customers over there! Mind yourself in here. What's with you? Ain't buying, ain't selling, not to you. Get. Huh? No matter me. You gotta do something. Please, he's never gonna let me go. He 
use you. you. Gotta get me out of here. About to close now. Time to make your purchase or head home. Hey, that area is for me only. Watch yourself in my shop. I'm sorry, partner. You deep in your cups, huh? Relax, my friend. Never mind. Well, all right, then. I'm telling you the truth. He's got me chained up. Then now is the time. About to close. Hey, no customers over there. Don't need that kind of behavior in here. Something twisted up in you, huh? I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just let me. <laughs> Hurry, get these shackles off me, please. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. That sick son of a bitch kidnapped me, made me pretend to be his son. I owe you for this, mister.
I'm on a tight schedule. Welcome back, sir. How's your friend getting on with those new clothes? Not something a lady should be wearing, in my opinion, but each to their own, I suppose. I'd be very surprised if you had a lady, my friend. Well, uh, well, not right now, but I've had my share. Anyway. I ain't seen blood in a while. There ain't a man of muckleshit who wouldn't die for the cause.
Oh, okay, sorry. I just assumed you couldn't read. Thank you. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us, as a sign of respect to our Creator, we pay respect to the dead. Tell it straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. You cannot be in there. What is wrong with you? Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. First time here, I think. Don't miss the tobacco just behind the door there. Oh, that's the whole range. Should be good. Thanks, partner. <laughs> Idiot. First time in my shop. Oh, you need something exclusive, huh? You will love that, I swear. It's yours, then. How am I supposed to ride on like this? Ain't no harm in having some fun with a sheep. Fine, fine. Whoa, 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 are you gonna rob? Oh, 
Okay. from buy yourself a goddamn gun. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged 
on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Okay, girl. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Somewhere. Welcome. Hey, mind your step. Sorry, mister. My mistake. I've never seen Please. anything like no. that. Oh, you bastard. That man just this robbed you. I saw him. Get after him. What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Just when I think I've seen everything. This man's crazy. Money or your life. You choose. All right. Come on. All right. Damn it! You got me! Oh, here! It won't happen again! Shut the hell up! Out of the 
damn way. Can't get enough of the place, sir. Now, let me have a look. We have styles for all people. Thanks. Come on. For a trim? So, what do you need? Thank you. Looks okay. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you. Really. Yep. It doesn't show anything happening. Cuidado! What is the problem? Wait! This is a misunderstanding! Out of the way! Sorry about that.
sir. Please be careful. Apologies. It's only temporary. This will all be sorted out soon, I promise. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Thanks, mister. Take this. Who earned every cent. I killed worse.
生，你好。Stopping for you. I mean it. Stop right now. Don't ignore me. Stop. Go, oh, darn fire nation. Go cower under your bed. Place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. Go on and move. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can... Uh, I go about finding more help. Uh, help! Somebody help!
Okay then, girl. Yeah. Kick dust, you cur!
Yep. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like... Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir, there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old cotton. Family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. 
You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Oh. This must have happened recently. You could try walking mm. in a while. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay, we should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to. Easy! Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellow. The Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used. To. Easy! We ain't in that much of a hurry. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites. I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Anyone we find here... Understood?
and take this off. Operation down for good. place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and... Archibald, you boys want right or left? We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. I'll tie this bastard up. I, I think there's another one by the still. Gentlemen, I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, I think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. You out of 
much and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here now? All right. I'll see you over there. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life it. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we, are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my way. Set. Go. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that.
I'm sorry, son. Well, yeah, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned, after all these years, to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I have fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. This law this guy's is doing anyway. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy pick. You get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> this way. Bunch of smart Alex. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all five minutes. Well, wow, you boys went off fishing or 
playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't win on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Get home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? Now, I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it? Scope here, exactly. Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> hey! You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know... <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Set. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Mm. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I didn't know. Let's just...
Keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go round the back. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? They fly them, boys. Where the hell you go?
Take the left, and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. Deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run, quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Oh, 
Okay, my girl. Yep. Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. Looks like you've had plenty, friend. Please, mister. But you just a swill of that old fire water. Mm. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. A slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I don't know the feeling. Uh, I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Yeah, well, you took the money, didn't you? I might risk the prize a minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden.
the day. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with. But... Off! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? The old lady, I... Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway... The old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. I was hoping you'd be in. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Ready when you are. Come on, it's this way. On me.
You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamont. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, Whoa. then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Look out! <laughs> Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. You... Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Hey, 
Big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle. See anything? Yes. It is. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. They got men covering the house. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, and I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? Gonna make a... We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Hey! You all being right! Oh, there it goes!
Sounds like a plan. These fellas dealing arms. There might be guns in these wagons. You sure you want to go in there? Now, I think we should search the crates, Arthur. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Go, go! Let's haul! Chase us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on the Viticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Nothing no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there!
Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Thank you. 